guys welcome to another beautiful day I am today in McLean Creek just a few kilometers away from home I just made it here to the entry point I was uh, thinking of going down to powder face but uh, it is quite late actually because uh, in the morning was quite some chilly I took my sweet ass time uh, before I got out of the house. I left the house around 1 o'clock and it, it is a gorgeous day in uh, mid-October here. Uh, believe it or not, still no snow, looking good for the next couple of weeks, so gotta enjoy every moment uh, that we have uh, to ride. Uh, there is the pond right behind me, so I'm pretty much... Uh, I know people are fishing here quite often. I've seen that uh, sometimes uh, people fish here. Uh, there was one person actually up ahead uh, fishing as well. So yeah, it's gonna take it nice and easy today and uh, take that road, gravel road uh, to the other side. Why not uh, to enjoy the beautiful day and uh, blue skies uh, and a wind in my face. So last weekend uh, I went with my family down to states uh, and I went to visit uh, Glacier National Park in Montana. I wasn't too lucky because uh, the portion of the park was under construction so we couldn't uh, see the whole park well i i saw the park uh, a couple of years ago there, there there is actually a video uh, from this place uh, that i filmed but uh, this time i wanted to take my wife and my daughter down there to so they can uh, see the beauty of that park but unfortunately it was only open uh, for first 17 miles up to logan's pass so yeah, we couldn't go too far, from there we went home. It was a long day, uh, about uh, 950 kilometers. We were going to stay overnight, but we figured, okay, since the park is closed, we didn't blow that much time in the park, and we decided to go uh, back home. There looks like there is a little playground. Let's check this out. Oh, that's a steep one. Oh, that's steep. Beautiful little area. Well, I think I should attempt going up there.
haven't been off-road for quite some time now that's a perfect spot if you want to come out and practice your skills close to home and lots of variety and my rear tire is quite bold I don't think I should be doing this because this is my rear tire and it's on the last leg already I'm just gonna get down here and come up turn around once I get to the bottom Very rocky, and I just said I want to avoid all the rocks a few minutes ago. <laughs> There's always something that's telling you with a different voice in the back do it, do it, do it.
Let's check this one place. Staring at the mountains instead of at the road, not a good thing. Gorgeous, gorgeous day. Can't ask for more. <laughs> I just wish I packed some water because uh, I didn't check my uh, water bottles on my panniers. And uh, I just pulled over a few minutes ago. I tried to have a drink and whoops, they're empty. Bummer. So many trails for all levels of riding out here. I just wish I had a better tire so I would push a little bit more on those hills there. Unfortunately, my tire is done in the rear. I want to finish the season on it. Not worth to put a new tire for uh, last couple months this year. As I stated earlier in the video, it's mid October. So there's not much left uh, riding. Well, I'm hoping there's, there's still gonna be some riding in between, but uh, I will put the new tire uh, so the bike is uh, closer to the end of winter. And uh, if there's any opportunities to ride uh, this winter still, because in Calgary, you never know what's gonna happen. Anything is possible. And one day you get minus 30 and you wake up and it's plus 10 and all the snow is gone and at that point uh, there's no better opportunity to jump on the bike uh, even uh, during the winter that's why i don't really winterize my bike um, i do put it on a trickle charger so this way the battery is getting charged uh, and uh, if it's not used for longer for uh, quite a few days or weeks but then the bike is ready to go every time and then uh, once the spring comes uh, by uh, or closer to spring i will change the oil and uh, get the bike ready for a new season that's that's my routine what i do and those are usually done in the winter when uh, 
Uh, when the weather is bad, I put the heater in the garage and start working on my bike, do whatever has to be done. And then once everything is set and done, uh, the winter comes through. I'm ready for another season to enjoy the summer, hopefully worry free. So that's usually the, the plan. And uh, that's how I roll. Check out these people on horses. Yeah, they gotta enjoy that beautiful day as well. That must be fun to ride the horse. Well, I did ride the horse before, but uh, I don't own one. It's so peaceful. And look at all this cattle. Oh my God, that's some, so many cows. What's going on here? How am I going to get through? That's another question. They're chilling in the road, on the road. Come on, move up, move up. Move, move cows. Come on, oh my gosh, this is crazy. <laughs> move up, move up, please, please move up. And those little quark cows as well. Oh, this one has got shit on the side everywhere. All right. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> okay, that's the first one. I've seen a lot of cows, but not that many on the road. And they're not even planning to move until you start uh, driving through the crowd. 